was delicious, guys. Delicious. I thought I'd introduce the vlog quickly before I leave the house. I'm getting the COVID vaccine today. My first one. Yay, yay. Longly awaited, a year awaited, so that I could have a bit of normality back to my life. Doesn't help us completely, but really, really helps us to get somewhere. And even just an extra bit of protection. Sign me up, sign me up. Um, but I'll talk to you on the walk down anyway. I just thought I'd introduce it. I don't know how to um, <coughs> talk loudly without waking half the neighbourhood up because my voice is so screechy. It's like quite early, it's like half nine in the morning. They only phoned me yesterday to tell me to come in today, which is fine because not like anyone's doing anything yet anyway. Um, and I'm literally just getting it. Uh, at my own doctor's which is obviously very good of them which is two minutes from the house so there's no quite reason driving there and it gets my steps in because I'm so healthy hopefully I'll be fine because usually I'm fine with these kind of things like vaccines and that I've really touched wood had it bad but I'll let you know how it is I'll keep you updated throughout the day and even this week just a wee mini walk hi guys so I'm back home now I got a vaccine about two hours ago now. I feel fine. I I'm just a bit tired. I'm just gonna tell you what vaccine I got and stuff. I got the Oxford AstraZeneca one, so I need my second dose within the next twelve weeks. Some of the main side effects were like tenderness around your arm, feeling a bit unwell, tired, chills and fever, headache, feeling sick, joint pain and nausea. You could be sick, you could have flu like symptoms like a cough, runny nose, sore throat. Even the actual injection wasn't painful at all going in. It wasn't sore in. I'd say the flu jag's actually a lot worse than what the COVID was one for COVID vaccine was for me. I would just think before you obviously take the vaccine and stuff. I know obviously a lot of people have different opinions on the vaccine. However, if you're in a position where you can choose to get the vaccine or not, you're very, very pr privileged that you know, if you think your body could take COVID and deal with it effectively and not cause serious, serious illness, then you are very lucky and privileged to be in that position. All I would say though is you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen in the future. You don't know if you're gonna be vulnerable one day. I wasn't vulnerable one day and the next day I was, so you don't know what life's gonna throw at you. Don't try and predict it, don't try and tempt fate don't try and say well i don't need the vaccine because i'm young don't, i'm young fit i'm this and that i'm too young to get cancer i'm too young to be vulnerable there's a lot of factors that go into whether you're vulnerable or not and because i was so immunosuppressed for so long what makes me still in the vulnerable category although my immune system has obviously built itself back up over a number of months it can take anything up for up to two years for your immune system to be back to normal after chemo or the kind of chemo that I had so and there's no like test that can actually show you how immunosuppressed you actually are. I've seen things people saying like just to put the vulnerable in a room and just let them be together and don't expose them to covid you know lock up the vulnerable and the elderly um, and let us all live our lives because we can and it's actually astounding to me that people actually have that perception of other people like we're humans we're all humans like it's quite clear to me that the, those kind of people who say those kind of things don't have people who would be in that position again like they could be vulnerable tomorrow and check they'd still preach the same things nah <laughs> what the heck so i just think be considerate to other people because you never know when it's going to be in that position and never think oh it won't be me because i bet your bomb dollar if you say that it will be you and you're off with the vaccine please take it um it creates a herd immunity and it means less transmission of coronavirus throughout the full population not just between vulnerable and elderly people but i'm fine and i'll give you an update soon hi so i'm now three hours post vaccine um and i've got a sore head i'm really tired but that's it that's all Hopefully it'll continue to just be like that. I might nap. Guys, look at my bed head because I've just woke up. So I fell asleep there for two hours. I really needed that. I was really tired, but to be fair, I was up early this morning. Um, and obviously the vaccine, like, it can make you really tired. And have a bit of a sore head. Oh, excuse my yawning. 
a bit of a sore head. I took two paracetamol there, I should be fine. I'm going to get done those tonight because I deserve it. And I'm going to go get my favourite snacks because who else is going to do that for me? Nobody. Me. Me, myself and I. Nothing crazy. Like, I just feel like I've got a cold or something like that. Like, nothing bad. Fingers crossed it stays that way. This is my Domino's. It's actually unreal, man. Like, oh, look how good that looks. <sighs> Guys, so I'm actually lagging now, to be honest. Like, I went and got a Domino's for my dinner. I took the parasite on, I was fine. Now I've came home for my dinner. I'm like pure, tired, woozy. I've got a sore head, I've got sore legs. I'm quite achy. My arm's not that sore to be honest. I look like a big thumb, sorry about this, but I'm too tired to care. I just feel dead as if I've got a cold. I'm just not well. I've got some snacks for tonight that I'm going to enjoy. <sighs> Both a book in the morning though. Guys. I just had to take, I just had to take ibuprofen and paracetamol. I just don't feel well. I feel like I've got a really bad cold. And my head is banging man. It's not felt like this in a long time. I feel so bad. But it's 10 o'clock, this is so early for me. I'm actually done in. Like, I feel so bad, by the way. But, again, we did see this could happen. I just feel like I've got a really bad cold coming on. My arm's sore. I've got really achy legs. I'm really tired. I've got a really sore head. I've took my brofen and paracetamol. My temperature's still fine, but I'll let you know what happens. It's not felt this bad in a long time. It's like a head cold feeling dead stuffy as if I've been on a plane for too long. Look at the state of me. <laughs> My dad look like that. Guys, this is freaking out because I look weird. Do I look weird? Do I look weird? I don't know, but I'll say good night. I'll let you know how I get on during the night. Not as we're nothing, I could fall asleep right now. Good morning. If you're thinking I look rough, I really am rough, to be honest. I'm not well. Um, God, I slept from 11 till 5 in the morning. I woke up because I was cold. Checked my temperature, it was fine. Um, took everything, took bad seat, my to feel better because I had a headache still. And then... I finally fell back asleep. I slept till 11, so I slept for nearly 12 hours. Um, I'm still absolutely knackered, like done in. My arm's in agony, like my arm's so, so sore. Like, um, there's no bruising or anything where it, where it went in, but it's sore. I just need to stay in my bed all day today because I just feel so physically unwell. Let's check my temperature now. Yeah, it was still fine. Thirty six point nine. It's not normal my temperature. I've got like definitely got like a wee chill, like I'm cold. Um, but I'm gonna get on and turn the heating right up. My heating's always on, but it just never right up. Um, oh, honestly, guys, I would still, oh, I would still urge everyone to get this vaccine. Um, like it's not, it's not unbearable, but it's just bad. Like it just just bad feelings like i'm going to put on my insta and see how other people reacted to it and what ones they had and we'll see what the responses are i've legit been in my bed all day sleeping um i feel a lot better now though like i've not got a headache and stuff but um now that i feel okay i'm gonna go for my bath just in case i get it bad again but i've just been trying to drink so much water keep myself hydrated and stuff um yeah Hi guys, half my hair's up, half my hair's down, don't judge me. Um, <sighs> so I just kind of feel the same. I'm a bit better, I'd say my head's not as sore, my legs aren't as sore, but I still feel so tired. 
like I'm actually exhausted. I'm not Insta to see if anyone else had had any similar effects. Someone has said that they had the Pfizer vaccine with no symptoms. A few of my family members have had the Pfizer one. They had no reaction apart from a sore head and a sore arm. I also said that they had doctors on yesterday. Their diet today, shivery, headache and tired. Arm parts like hell. Me too, honey. Me too. Obviously with this hair. And then somebody else had ultra one a few weeks ago. Blue said, shivering, high temperature, headache, so tired for two days and the arm was sore. Honestly, same, apart from the temperature thing. And culprit is the Oxford one. But I don't know how it works for people with compromised immune systems and stuff. About what one they can receive. So it might be all different. Morning guys, so it's Monday now, so it's been like 40 hours since I had my vaccine. Um, I'm still pretty much the same, to be honest. Like I've got such sore head, such sore legs. Really achy. <clears throat> I'm really, really tired as well. Like defo can't do what I'd usually be doing. I'm going to take two paracetamols, two ibuprofen, lie on my couch and just chillax because honestly, I'm just so tired, so tired and from the consensus it doesn't look like I'm alone in this feeling. You can get these side effects from flu vaccines and stuff. I'm just person. I've never been one of those kind of people. I've had a hepatitis vaccine, a rabies vaccine, a yellow fever vaccine. I've had all sorts um, because I've done work abroad one year and like I never had any side effects of any of them apart from a sore arm so I thought like me getting side effects from this was very unlikely how wrong was I like this is probably the worst I've ever felt after a vaccine no it is actually the worst I've felt after a vaccine um but I mean it doesn't mean anything like you've got to remember as well I've been immunosuppressed for almost a year and nobody knows how long it takes to get your immune system back up to fully functioning. So you got to remember my wee body's getting this vaccine and it might not even be at full capacity yet. Sorry about my hair by the way, it's actually got a mind of its own. So yeah. Aren't we honey? Say hi everybody. Oh look at that wee face, look at that wee face. That's enough to cheer anyone up. I'm so glad I've got you right now. I'm so glad I've got you. Mm, I love her. I'm gonna make some baked oats, me thinks, and have a smoothie. Get those vitamin, vitamins in. Mm. Like, actually look at the neck of me. Um, I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna discuss how I've been. Okay, so one, two, three. Hi. Um, I'm back. I'm a lot better than what I was. So it's now been 72 hours since my vaccine and I'm nearly back to myself I'd say but I'm about 80% back. I'm still quite tired and I've got a headache but I'm not as you know lethargic as I was like I was just in my bed all day yesterday. I didn't even finish what I was doing yesterday on this video. I think that because the vaccine was obviously fast tracked and you know vaccines like this would have a long you know time span over 10 years for them to fine tune these kind of side effects but with coronavirus I think what has happened is they've just said we know that it's safe we know that it works we don't have time to fine tune the side effects we will get people can live with these side effects for 72 hours let's just give it to the population which would make sense and I would rather have those side effects and have covid ruining our lives for another 10 years because that's like most of my life so yeah just take your vaccine um i was really lucky my temperature never shot up i'm just really thankful that i've had uh, my first dose now and at least i can have a little bit of extra protection and stuff like that but um thanks so much if you watched us i hope you're all really really well i bet you didn't expect that um here i am at three in the afternoon in my jammies with a face mask on because my skin's so bad but I just thought that I should quickly update you on how my night was last night. So, 
I am feeling fine. Yesterday I was much better. Like I was able to do everything I'd planned to do yesterday. And I would say about, I was about 75, 80% 80 back to normal yesterday. I was still quite tired, so I had a headache. I had to take paracetamol and stuff. But last night I had like quite a... Not a sweaty sleep. It wasn't night sweats or anything like that. It was like... When that when you have a bad dream and you can just tell like you've you've been like sweating kinda. So it's kinda like that. I wasn't drenched in sweat or anything like that, guys, don't worry. Kinda realised that I've been kinda clammy, my body's been clammy all day. So I, I think that is a side effect of the vaccine. But my temperature and stuff's fine. I feel fine. I'm just a little bit tired but nothing nothing on a patch on the last um few days and um, I'm starting to get really a lot better. I'm not took any kind of sleep ibuprofen but I just thought the update is um there might be another update who knows. I know I said I was finished but I'm not. Hi so I have my vaccine now um two weeks it'll be two weeks this week I've had it for two weeks so um last week was a bit of a rough one I was really really tired I was still quite tired when I last videoed um, and I was still getting headaches and stuff, kind of flu-like symptoms, but now I'm back to normal. You know, a week of feeling like you've got a cold for the sake of, you know, a d potentially me dying or a vulnerable or older person dying. Even not, maybe not even a vulnerable or older person, anyone dying. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just properly close the vlog here. Um, I hope that was really helpful to you and stuff and you've seen a lot of the side effects that you can get from the COVID vaccine. But guys, it's really, really worth it. Like... A week of cold flu symptoms for a lifetime of protection against COVID. And today, England just set out their roadmap. Scotland's comes out tomorrow. I'm, f I'm obviously on social media and stuff. Everyone's been crazy for June twenty first. Everyone's like got out for ready for June twenty first and all that. Just hope it is a day that we can all celebrate and we can all hug each other and we can all look back on the pandemic. Like, can't believe we got through that, but. Hopefully I look back on this in June the 21st and I thank God, gal, you done it, you done it. And there's a video going up on June the 21st of me and my pals hugging. So yeah, that's the main thing. Getting everyone back together. It'll be so emotional. Like, I'm actually, I can get actually like goosebumps thinking of the feeling of just not even being in a pub or a club or like even in a restaurant with my pals. Like just sitting in somebody's back garden, a wee cocktail in hand, in the sun, music on. And then it's Ibiza. <laughs> I'm actually thinking Ibiza might happen by the way. So I need to get our act, my act together. And now it's Ibiza the night. Cream Fields is going ahead. I'm like, guys, I need to get out of it sorted now. Pronto. So yeah, at least it's a bit of positive news to start the week on. We'll see how it goes tomorrow with Scotland. Um, fingers crossed it's all the same or better. Bye COVID! Bye COVID! Actual me when I was getting the vaccine like that. <laughs> Bye guys, love you. Thank you for watching. Hope you're all really well and staying safe.